Hey guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at the parse service in AngularJS and right here in its description it says what it does is it converts an Angular expression into a function and then they've got some basic usage here so we're going to build on that. Um, let's see here. So I've got a you know basic HTML page wired up with ng-app to something called app. Here's my app module and right off the bat I'm going to create a directive. We'll call this... Uh, n whatever uh, and into that we're going to inject the parse service and then here's our function and of course that's going to use the parse service and uh, so so we're looking good here we're going to return our directive object we're going to restrict that to an element so let's go ahead and create that Oop, never mind I already created that sorry um, so in our link function we can let's see let's go ahead and build this out uh, scope element attributes and now we can kind of start to use this so uh, let's just I'm just gonna take this straight from their example and I think what I'm gonna do is simplify it a little bit uh, but we start off with this getter so getter equals dollar parse and then user dot name uh, and again it converts an angular expression into a function so that is really the, uh, it's the equivalent of uh, saying getter equals function and then uh, user, and then it's returning user.name. Uh, that's, that's really what we've basically done there is, is create that. Uh, so so, so you, just so you understand that, that, that it is a function. It's not just, re, not just the value. It's not a string value or whatever. It's taking the, the expression and converting it to a function. Uh, so the setter uses this assign method. And what the setter can do is basically take the getter function and change that. So, I mean, technically what that is, is a uh, function takes in its object. And, uh, and then what it does is it... Uh, rather than returning the value it sets it so user dot uh, name equals uh, you know whatever sorry whatever anyways okay so just so you know how that's working and then we've got this context and it's a user and you know what? I'm gonna simplify all this let's uh, just return an object with a single key okay that looks simpler to me Okay, so now what we can do is we can create a, a, a variable. So scope uh, dot name equals, and then we get to say getter, and we can run that. Uh, but what we need is to, to pass in that object. So we're going to say context, okay. And then in our template, we can just say, oh, where's my cursor? Template. Uh, we can make that... Uh, name. So let's run that. We've got that loaded up over here, and uh, you can see it's you know bringing in Angular, which is the name of uh, the name value in the context one. Now, uh, the reason that we have this locals one is you can pass in a, a second copy or whatever, and if it has the same key, it'll it'll override the the first one. So now it's local. Now if it doesn't have the key, it'll take the first one. Uh, so there you go. That's, I mean, how uh, they're using it here. Now, I do want to show you what I think technically would be a better example. So I'm going to set up another directive here. Uh, directive. We're going to call this one M. That's going to be for math. And uh, so let's pass in a parse function or service function. We use our parse service and uh, so again you know typical ah shoot I'm getting crap on my screen that's okay um, so we're gonna return our directive object uh, we're gonna restrict it to an element okay and then uh, so let's get that on the page so nope just want to do it M and then we'll close that so this is our M for math uh, directive and what we're gonna do do, let's see uh, so let's shortcut the scope and say uh, let's see scope and we're gonna say that let's say we're gonna have an attribute called EQ for equation 
and we're just gonna say that that is equal to the attribute so up here in my math directive I'm gonna say EQ equals and I'm gonna pass in an expression I'm gonna say 2 plus 2 okay so now down here in our link function we are very simply going to say let's see function and uh, I'm just going to abbreviate this. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, let's say, scope.inner. I'm creating a variable called inner. I'm going to say equals uh, parse. Should that be? So our attribute, you know, I really didn't need to shortcut this. This probably doesn't even need to be there. And that's okay. So. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm parsing the expression that I passed in in the attribute of EQ. Uh, so then in my template, I can just say, uh, what I call it, inner, and then that's going to be a function now. So, so inner is a function. It's not a singular value. It's actual function. And so now if I run that, uh, nope, that didn't work. So what did I mess up here? Ah, you know what? I messed up my abbreviation. S dot enter. Run that. So I've got this four. And let me make the template. Let's give that a line break. And let's put a line break on this one too, just so we can see this. So four. Uh, and if I want to take that and create a couple more, let's say this one's going to be two times three. This is going to be two plus eight. And uh, this one's going to be two plus five. Uh, whatever. I mean, it's evaluating that expression. Uh, again, it is turning into a function. If I wanted to do it this way, I could do it that way and just execute it immediately. Same result. Uh, it's returning that value. Uh, in addition to that, if up here I wanted to just say one is equal to one, I should get a true. I got a true. Uh, so there you go. That's a look at the parse service. Uh, you know, if you've ever wondered, you know, uh, you know, when it when when Angular uh, goes through all the HTML of your page, it actually uses the compile service to find all those directives. But it's using the parse service to, uh, you know, if you're using ng style or whatever the case may be on your switches and uh, uh, shows, uh, you know, ng show, um, it's using parse to evaluate the expression that you're you're passing in. Uh, so there you go. That's the parse service in AngularJS. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.